da 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 I am going to kick your ass now that I'm leveled up. You will stand no chance. I will punch you so hard you'll throw up. I am going to murder you with all my weapons. This music is about to end. I will be so sad. And ah, and there it's gone. Okay. <coughs> so I guess it's you first. All right. Well, Bahamut it up. I've leveled up. Uh, Rosa even now has holy. Just holy god. Okay, so Shell, Rydia finally has above 2,000 HP, so hopefully, she, hopefully she'll live through some more stuff here. But let's see here. Okay, so Shell ourselves up. Shell Apotamus going on here. Uh, 4,000 damage, alright. Uh, 7,500 or so. Mega Flare, how much? <coughs> I hope you do like 8,000. That'd just be great. We're at 7,400 something right now. Uh, 6,000, okay, so let's say we're at 14.5 or so. I think that's fair. That didn't do much damage, thank God. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to wait just one quick second there, and now I'm going to cure four, and hopefully Big Bang will go off first. So now we're at, what, 16,000 or so, I think? Um, okay, Hellwind, <coughs> another one. So 16,000 plus... Another 4,000 or so, yeah, so 20k, give or take, is what we're at. I'm trying to keep track of all my damage that I do so that I can, like, know what's coming. Also, I'm just going to assure, assure it up there, just to assure that I live. Um, please? Uh, we're at what? Did I say 16,000? God, I can't keep track while I'm also talking. Um, or, no, did we hit 20,000? I think we might have hit 20,000 even. However, we are fully recovered now. Thank God for Ashura there. Uh, 20,000 or so. Hellwind. Uh, so 23,000, I'm going to say. And we'll take it from there. I guess we'll try... Let's try Holy and see how much damage that does. We do have full HP, after all. And we can... Now we're at 2730k or so damage that we've done. Or so. Give or take, I think. Uh, he's about to do bid damage towards us. 33k. Uh, holy, let's see how much you do. Please just, like, max damage. 9999999999 would just be the best. 7,000, I'll take it, though. 7,000 at wall? I've never seen him cast wall before. What is that? That was his... HP ran out? What? Oh, he sapped... He sapped her to death. That's what happened. All right. Well, Dart, you're gonna have to throw... I'm out of Hellwinds, right? Yep, you're gonna have to throw the Excalibur now. Um, Rosa, you need to turn something awful. You need to turn, like, right now. Right now. Please. Black Hole, that's okay. Phoenix down on Rosa, bring her back. All magic is, has been dispelled, I don't care. As long as Rosa can get a turn. Okay, thank God, thank God. Okay, let's heal ourselves back up here. Uh, Edge, it is your turn. You are going to throw the cleaver right into his face hole. Just stick it right where it doesn't belong, I guess. I don't even know. 9999, yes. Okay, and we're gonna fight with him, I guess. Summon Bahamut here. This is going a lot better. Going a lot better here. Uh, what can I use that might be good? Um, Moon Curtain, no. I'm just, I'm afraid to go back to the menu, because I know people are low on HP. Uh... Damn it. Hmm. I'm torn. I can't throw the Ashura, I don't think. I didn't see that I could. You know what? I'm just going to pop an elixir right onto... Let's see, what do our HPs look like? Actually, we're pretty good, but Rosa's gonna be low, and Rosa, like, Rosa just has to survive. It's not optional. Um, he's gonna use Black Hole right after this, I bet. I'm used, so used to that, so... Cure 4, I guess, and hopefully his Big Bang will get off before my Cure 4 does, or my Cure 4 could just go now. That... Worst things could happen, really. I mean, that pretty much will hopefully guarantee that we survive. Uh, right? Right? Please? Please? At least Rydia survive? Ah! Rydia didn't survive. Damn it. 
Well, that's not what I was looking forward to at all. Uh, I'm just hoping he doesn't follow that up with a bio, because if he does, Rosa might die, and Edge would probably die. Now Rydia would die. Black Hole, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. <coughs> I'm gonna have to bring back Kane here pretty soon. Uh, with, I guess, probably Edge. I'll wait for Edge's turn, just because Cecil does good damage with his, uh, Ragnarok, so... Uh, Edge, it is your... Oh, okay, Rydia, I guess I'll summon Bahamut with you. Might as well. Oh, and now he's using Flare. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Survive. Ah! Edge, at least now I know it's your turn, so I can bring back Rosa with you instead of having, like, you bring back Kane and then having Rosa die, because that would suck. That would be the epitome of suck. Um, I'm going to actually drop an Elixir here so I can drop a Shell with Rosa instead, because if, I mean, throw everything at him while I can, right? 6,500... I've completely lost track of where we are, and Rosa's dead. Yep, Rosa's totally dead. Figures. Figures. That's just a waste of an elixir, isn't it? Yes, it is. <sighs> okay, Rosa, it's going to be Cure 4 with you. Actually, it might be Ashura. Ashura could work. If if I could get that off in time. Uh, please heal us. Please heal us. Yes! Okay, awesome. Awesome. So we should survive this, hopefully. Uh, Rydia might not, but the rest of us will, at very least. Is there anything else I could throw? I don't think so. Uh, nope, nothing at all. I guess we'll just... Well, do any of these matter? I don't think so, I'm just going to attack. Um, <laughs> I guess I could have brought back Kane, because Big Bang was so imminent he would have survived. However, hmm, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, we're all alive, though! Hey, we're all alive! Uh... I'm gonna summon Ashura and see if I can free up a turn for Rosa. Because if I can, um, I'm actually gonna cast Shell right now, just in case. Because that makes my life a lot easier when Shell, when Shell is on. Because he only does like half magic damage. Oh, what one is that? Oh, Revive. Well, that's okay, I guess. Um, however, I need... Damn it, now that that happened, though, I need a... Whew. What do I need? I need a Cure 4. That's what I need, but I don't have one. I don't have a Cure 4. He just better not bio, I guess, is what it comes down to. Just attack with Edge. Uh, jump with Kane. If oh, oh my god, oh my god. Rosa, 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 Rosa. Uh, Ashura. And Rosa, it needs to be your turn. Cure 4. Please, oh please, oh please, oh please. Ashura could heal us. That would be fantastic. No! He, she's going to... Shell? Or no, that's Protect. Cure 4! Yes! 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 Okay. <clears throat> we are still in business. Mostly. We are kind of in business here. Big Bang is... a scary, scary, scary thing. Um, do we survive, please? Oh, we have Shell! Of course we survive! Oh, uh, very barely, though. Uh, surprisingly close there. Um, 3,500 and 4,000. How much damage have we done? I feel like I've been doing this for forever now. Uh, Rosa, it's gonna be your turn so I can not summon Ashura. Whew. Cure 4. Oh, and I just elixired Rosa, so she has plenty of magic. That's fantastic. If I could start freeing up a turn with Rosa for her to use Holy as well, I guess I would kind of be at a sacrifice of a Bahamut, though, so it might not be worth it. Uh, I'd have to take a look at Rydia's, uh, magic and see how much she has. Uh, 4,000... We have to be getting close, right? Also, I need another Cure 4 before he does something else again, because that Cure 4 did not heal me enough. Rydia is only at 1,300, and Edge is only at 1,300? That's not good at all. 8,000 there, though. Uh, what can I do? Oh no, Rosa's dead. Rosa is so gonna die from that, right? <gasps> she survived! She survived! Okay, that's, that's Elixir time, then. Or, no, X Potion. I have an X Potion. I'll use that instead. Because you never know, Rydia might need the magic um, before this fight runs out. Okay, this is so intense. Mateo, oh my god! No, 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 that is not allowed. That is not allowed. Oh, that didn't do much damage. Never mind. Whew! Whew! My god. That's something new, though, so maybe he, maybe we're getting close to the end here? That's possible. Uh, summon Bahamut. Oh my god, okay, I'm totally panicking right now. 3,400. 2,900. We're not doing as much damage as I would love to. Cure 4. Get out there. Get out there quickly. 
<sighs> Calm down, Jake. Calm down. Just keep your cool. There's another 2,000 right there. And we can fight with Cecil. We dropped a major flare. Okay, Bahamut got out. We have to be within like 20,000, right? I mean, I feel like I've been sitting here for forever. 6,900. <gasps> yes! Woo! Yeah! Die, you son of a bitch! Whew. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. <sighs> I think I've spent like a total of three and a half hours working on this guy today. Just trying to do him back at level 50, which I was hoping was going to be possible. And it, I mean, I'm sure it's possible, but it turned out to be a real pain in the ass and not worth it. So I grinded up to level 55. I know I don't think I showed what level I was. But 55, and this was my first shot at level 55. I guess I learned enough from my level 50 attempts that this worked out. Woo! Yeah! Oh my god. Okay. My heart is just racing right now. Oh, that was intense. You will perish. No, you will perish. Evil will not lurk in the hearts of man. For what I have done to you just now, I think I have taken evil out of the world entirely. Whew. I am out of breath. Wow, and we're all alive. Even Fusoya and Golbez are alive. Fantastic. That's just the best. Okay, it is time for you to stop making everything shake and just disappear into the realm of nothingness. Go to hell! Woo! Yes. Thank you, Fusoya. I feel like I earned that. That is incredible. We didn't initially. However, we trained. And... We did it. Oh my god. I don't think it matters. I think he was just bluffing. As long as evil hearts still exist, everyone holds both good and evil in their soul, just like there are crystals of light and darkness. We can continue to seal it and beat it, right? Preach on, brother! Yeah! To be a bastion of virtue. Bastion, what a good word. <sighs> oh, Rydia, don't come on. I was just complimenting him on that. Give him a break. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> that's kind of true, though. It is kind of a miracle. <sighs> It would be a cry and shame, though. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm just blown away. Oh, no, you're going to go back to sleep? You're not just going to hang out with us? We do have to go home, though. However, I would love to see you come back. I mean, you're kind of like Uncle Fusoya, really. Goldbiz wants to go with him? That's kind of true, actually. I don't think he'd be welcome back. Wel welcome back? Welcome to back. That would be kind of neat, Dolbez, you're right. A long sleep indeed. But if you're asleep, then how will you know how long it's been? It'll wake up, it'll be like a thousand years later. You're redeeming yourself, Dolbez, slowly but surely. So... I think, I think, I think I could forgive you. Whether Cecil will or not, I'm not sure. You did slaughter a whole bunch of people. However, I personally forgive you. You weren't completely yourself. Good job, Kane. Come on, Cecil, you're a paladin. You can do it. At least Dolbez is taking it like a man, really. Go, Cecil. Hug him. Hug him. Do it. Well done. I'm happy for you. <laughs> it's weird for how much I hated Do Dolbez for so long. It's weird to think that, like, we have... Well, I have at least. I've kind of changed my mind on him. He's a pretty good guy, in a way. Like, he's repentant... And, like, I, res I can respect his repentingness, I guess, is what it comes down to. And what do we have here? That must be the sun, with all the, 
all the planets floating around it. Well, that's a lot of a lot of planets. Oh, okay. One of those is the moon. I was gonna say, where's where's all the other planets? Are they just outside of our realm of view or something? Maybe, or maybe they just oh suddenly it's Star Wars. That's actually a pretty neat effect. One born from the mouth of a dragon. Rising towards the heavens with light and darkness. And whoa, they like fly back as well. It's like they're on a s sphere or something. A sleeping promise shall awaken. Veiled in the light of eternity. Mother Earth shall be blessed with mercy and salvation. This is this is a very peaceful way to, to end this, I'm not gonna say. The moon has begun to seek its own light. One man, separated from his world, by the stream of time, sleeps. That's a weird sentence with the comma right with like one extra word just at the end there. So is that is that all she wrote? Really? I suppose so. Oh, and suddenly we have rather happy music. Yay! Oh, goodbye, Lunar Whale, or Magical Ship, as you're called in this version. You were a good ship. I was thankful to have you. I'm sad you have to go back to the ocean, because now I'll never see Golbez or Fusoya again, probably. Unless I want to drag you back out, like reverse Titanic style. Transfiguration and teleportation. All right. <laughs> it's like life back to normal. Also, this is auto scrolling test. That's kind of nice. So I can just sit back and enjoy everything. <coughs> <laughs> of course, Palum. <laughs> uh, Palum and Polum, the um, ever exaggerators. Show you something equally impressive. Wow! No. Wham! Yes, that's what I was talking about. No more wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, ma'am, don't on here. Seriously. Fire rod. Yeah, that's exactly what it was, I'm sure. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Go back to school. You should be in school and not having sets with people smaller than you. <laughs> Precocious know-it-all? I'm pretty sure that that's the best way you could possibly sum up Palum and Polum. <sighs> this is... This is very nice. Very, very nice. And suddenly... Edge? And furthermore, you lack the discipline to be an effective ruler? Ouch! I asked you for a few suggestions on self-improvement, and you rattle off a pole on dissertation! LOL! Suck it, Edge! You're a pretty cool guy, actually, though, so maybe you're not... I haven't even started. Hey, hey, don't even diss on Rydia! I'm assuming that's who you're talking about. <laughs> I'd accidentally bump into every girl I see. <laughs> uh, Edge, I would love to see that, like, voice acted and stuff. That'd be a funny scene. Beauty, intelligence, and a sharp tongue. Three very, very important traits. Damn. Yeah, I need her too. Just watch your heart. Fly straight out of your head and live in that cloud above your mind. Young master! You can both pirouette jump, I guess? Chamberlain just decided, yeah, I want to dance too. Ooh, and Rydia's back with the, the Phantom Gods. She is an incredible girl, isn't she? Also, blue guy. Aww, poor monster wants to be like Rydia. Have Ari Mitama hair and no fangs and stuff. Humans and Phantom Beasts both have the ability, oh, to love and care about others. I thought she was going to say, to have fangs. <coughs> I was going to be surprised that humans could have fangs, but I mean, I guess if you watch anime, so many times the teeth, they look like little fangs. So, I don't know. Maybe it's possible, those little canine teeth. For as normal as that looks in anime, it doesn't look very normal in real life when you have that little tooth sticking out of your mouth. Nah, I don't know. However, I'm trying to pay attention here, too. I should stop getting distracted. There's too much going on. Yawn. And Yawn's wife is okay, too. Thank you for the- Oh, 
I'm I'm not really there right now, but Yawn, you need to thank your wife for that from the uh for that cleaver for me. Because that was like ten thousand damage against the final boss that was really, really useful. So yeah, that was important. Thank you, Yawn's wife. I don't think you can hear me or see me waving at you right now, but I appreciate it. Next time, maybe give me like five, I'll just hook them at people. You're concerned about the Pope the pomp and regalia of Regalia, should I say? I agree. If anyone can return Fabul to her past glory, it would be Yon. If I was to put my faith in anyone. Ooh, we have Edward or Gilbert. Take your pick, either way. We haven't heard or seen from him in like forever. He played such a minor role in this game after like the very beginning. Kind of, actually, that's kind of surprising. He didn't play a big role at all. Like, sure, he was kind of there the whole time, but, like, he was either in a bed or just being like, Yep, I'm still here. Oh, and he's, like, a teacher now or something? Yes, he did, Gilbert. Yes, he did. No, we don't want our mommies and daddies getting sick and dying, you're right. Were those, like, all the little people in his kingdom or something? I guess? I don't know. I doubt they're his kids. I would be very surprised if they were. Um, I'm not gonna judge him, though, even though they all have different colored hair. Wasn't, like, red, green, and blue or something? Oh. <sighs> That's true. I kinda forgot about Anna. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Anna. And Tella. This is in remembrance of... them. And Lally Ho! Now we have dwarves! We're just kind of seeing, like, the lives of everybody now that we've essentially saved the world. That's pretty neat. I'm okay with this. I can get down with this. We don't have enough raw materials, so no! Go find some more! That's true, actually. There probably won't be wars for a while. Uh, I wouldn't scrap all of them, though. Maybe have Sid build you, like, a neat airship or something. Oh, awesome! I was gonna say, if he hadn't heard from us, I was gonna be very disappointed in us. <sighs> Good job, Cecil. And I hope you've been, inv been invited to their wedding, too. Unless they're just having that at the same time. Like, you may now kiss your wife. Oh, and you're now king, so you may now kiss yourself. Congratulations. <laughs> Gian really doesn't have much patience, does he? Then again, I don't really have the most patience in the world either, so I guess I can understand that. Why? I'm excited to see what this is. <laughs> I have faith in you, Kane. You've proven yourself to be worthy in general. And what is this? Ah. Is that a telescope? This is terrible. The moon. What is the moon? Is it flying away? That would be bad. We're back to this again. This is this is neat though, so I'm okay with it. Also, we have two moons. <laughs> Lol. What? That's... odd. That doesn't tell me what the moon is, other than that there's two of them, and there shouldn't be. I guess this is them just wanting to show off their neat technology they spent so long programming back in the day? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> also, that sun. I don't know. I wish it was more... Oh my god! The moon flew away! It did fly, it did fly away! I totally called that! <laughs> I actually, like, leapt back from my screen there, too. Dots and exclamation points! Why do you have two beds? You really ought to only have one bed. I know what's really going on. You must have. You must have actually heard him. What What did he say, Cecil? What did he say? God, 
I love this music. The two of you are still here? Lol. That's true. We don't want to be late to our own coronation and wedding. <laughs> uh. <coughs> yeah, yeah, Sid, watch your mind your place. Though, yeah, I was going to say, I don't think Rosa's going to be alright with you calling her your majesty. <sighs> I wonder if we'll get to see the wedding. Also, this music. This music. There's just something about it. It's so... Emotional. To me. Emotionally charged in some... Way. He has to talk to his brother. Just be understanding, Rosa. What did he say, Cecil? I want to know. <laughs> He's going off to the home of the Lu home of the Lunarians. Lucky him. I'm sure he'll take good care of the people there, and the people there will take good care of him. Everybody's getting joined up. I wonder how long after the events of Zero Mist and all that kind of stuff this is, because like he said, we haven't seen everybody in so long. Well, I guess, I mean, we didn't really see them in Mesidia. Like, we, the audience, saw them, but they didn't actually see them. Besides, like, Cecil having them appear in the final battle. Which was super epic, by the way. <coughs> like that, the final battle itself was pretty good. Um, I'm gonna say, I think I might have liked Final Fantasy VI is better, but then again, that's not really a fair comparison. But the lead-up to the battle? No comparison at all. Uh, Final Fantasy IV right here, that... The complete scene before, like, the final battle started was just too great. It was fantastic. Now we have Gilbert. Take your place right down there by Luca, I'm assuming. And one more. One more. Radia. <sighs> Put him in his place, Rydia. You can do it. The music is going crazy, too. It's time, I think. Yay! We did it! Yay! I was kind of hoping to see, like, the Cecil and Rosa hug sprite again there. But... I'm okay with that either way. Oh, is the whole credits gonna be in this rolling text as well? If they spend all the time programming, it might as well use it, right? Whew, so this... This LP's over. That's weird. It doesn't feel like that long ago that I started this, but then again, it has been since September. Right now, for those of you watching in the future, it is currently March 4th, um, 2012. If you're watching this in 2013, well, I'm glad the world didn't die. And we didn't have to go find Fusoya on the moon and take out Zero Mist to save the world from exploding. But, yeah, this was a good game. Some, I mean, I think part of it's because I was playing the, J, uh, the J2E translation, so it's like the original Japanese version. So some of it felt kind of poorly tuned, in a way. But, I mean, JRPGs, I guess you kind of know what you're getting into. There's going to be a, quite a lot of grinding. Which I'm alright with. Um, but at the same time, some stuff was just really... Oddly, oddly tuned. It just felt out of place. Like, unreasonably difficult at some times. Like, some random enemies that just, like, are really hard out of nowhere or something. But, I mean, it's not like it was a huge deal or anything. The game was still a whole lot of fun. Oh, and this time they only, um... Like, fly back and go straight and then go straight up. They don't actually fly back towards the screen. I didn't even notice that until just now, so I wasn't paying attention. Wow, this is a lot of special thanks as well. Like, a lot less people went back into, or well, a lot of less, a lot less people worked on games back then. And now we have the J2E credits. Thank you to them. I mean, this was a fan. Lol. <laughs> Interesting name. Um, this was a great translation, though. I mean, I've heard there's some issues with, like, the old, uh, the original, like, North American translation. So, I'm glad that I was able to experience this for the first time through their translation. That was pretty neat. Honestly, this whole game was pretty neat, though. 
So, uh, sometimes we're just so emotional. I mean, even the beginning of that boss fight, I was- I literally had tears in my eyes. Like, not from sadness that time, but from, like, just epicness. But, oh, and now we have more special thanks to ZS Knight and Toma13 and Sephiroth. Gotta always thank Sephiroth and Balls and Jithradai. I'll feel like an idiot? Alright. I don't know why I'll feel like an idiot, but I guess I'll take your word for it. I don't feel like an idiot very often, so I guess that's pretty possible. But sometimes, sometimes I definitely do. Presented by Square. Even with that crazy little A thing that's kind of off-kilter there. Oh, and now it zooms in. Whew. That A, it really bothers me that it's, that it's off-kilter. Also, lol, they just rotate it because they can. Just to show off their mad assembly programming skills. Good job, Square. I'm so proud of you. Ooh, we even have a The End logo. That's nice. It's all green and stuff. And the shadow is like... Two different angles, depending on if it's the or end. So is that all there is to it? Is that all she wrote? Based on the music, I'd say, yeah, it is. Wow. Okay. This was a very good game. <laughs> I'm very glad to have played it. And I hope you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this as well. For as long as it's taken, I appreciate you guys being patient with me. Um, all the times that I don't always listen to what you're saying. Uh, oh, person who was in the comments saying I should always use the Soma Drops, I totally did before the bi final battle, but I did it off screen. Just FYI. So don't feel bad. Uh, well, I did finally use them. Um, but, I, like, I appreciate you sticking with me through my, uh, thick-headedness at times, or my stubbornness would be a better way to put it. Like, for instance, the Odin fight, where I just wanted to sit there, because I knew I could do it. I knew I could do it without leveling up. And I just had to sit there and just keep doing it until I got the perfect attempt. Because that's, that's the kind of thing I enjoy. So, just stuff like that, that you guys might not normally do because you've played this game so many times, you know exactly what to do. But, I like that extra challenge. So I had to spend three hours trying to beat Zemus at level 50. <laughs> or a zero miss, should I say. But yeah, I think that's pretty much all there is to say. This has been quite a run. However, I do hope you guys enjoy what I have planned for my next project. I'm very excited to get that started. Uh, you, you should probably know within, a, I guess, a week or two. Um, but Mario will continue until then. So, until next time, with whatever video you happen to watch next, unfortunately it probably won't be Final Fantasy IV Blind anymore. However, until then, whenever that may be, Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you're having a fantastic, just an amazing day.